Hello everybody, my name is Aging Raptor and I welcome you to a new World of Tanks video. And today we have a How Tough Is It Penetration Test TS5. Today we have a look at the armor of the new and, well, potentially free TS5 tank. I already did some math and approximation on how... Um, hard or how long you potentially have to grind to get this tank so don't forget to check out this video if you want to know more about it but yeah today we have a look at how this armor is going to be and how tough it will be for different vehicles to penetrate it and the first vehicle which we have a look at trying to penetrate it is the t3485 i chose this tank because it's one of the well, medium tanks were one of the best DPMs, so it's easy to make follow-up shots. But also, it's pretty handy-dandy because it's one of the most average tier, eight, uh, tier 6 penetrations out there. Like, it has 144mm of AP standard penetration, which is pretty well standard. Or, yeah, standard, yeah, really. <laughs> There's not much else to say to that. And gold ammunition with 194, which is also pretty standard. Not much else to say to that. You can see right now we are shooting some spicy normal AP rounds and try our best on penetrating the potentially, well, hold down seeing or looking at TS5. And now you notice, oh, there is something green down there and actually I'm penetrating. You now obviously might ask yourself <coughs> what really this is and for some reason I have a cough right now. That's uh, really annoying. But it's pretty easy to explain when we get decently underneath this tank. As you can see all this flat space around here and even part of this really big lower plate is covered in 20 millimeters of armor. And that's not what I wanted to show. That's how, how it snowed today. <laughs> pretty darn yucky or nice depending if you like snow which i do and you can see right here right off the bat this down here is 20 millimeters thick i can even give you it in some color right here this all the way down here is 20 millimeters thick meaning that every single gun which has a 60 millimeter a caliber which is bigger than 60 millimeter and the shooting ap has auto pen or the shell will penetrate regardless of the angle which is great meaning we can penetrate there without any issues when the ts5 decides to poke really badly which and um, this is a big 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 thank you to the felix the german community manager to give me the time and well give me his ts5 here from the witcom video or witcom account to well play or shoot at the ts5 and he said five degrees of gun depression is not that good and if this tank is driving over a ledge compared to something like a batcher <coughs> this tank will most certainly have its fair share of troubles hide this massive 20 millimeter weak spot which again everybody can penetrate even this tank right here Right now we have loaded the APCR shells and we are aiming at the cupola which you can see depending where we're hitting is around maybe a 50% chance to penetrate, maybe a little bit less. It's hard to say, I'd, mm, I guess it will be around 20, no, it will be around 40 to 30% rate of penetrating. When the TS5 though is standing directly in front of us. You already saw it, lower plate is a no-go. We once again have loaded APCR shells right here and you can see I'm trying to find somewhere a spot which is orange at least, but nope, you can forget it. Not only is the angle downside, meaning it is even harder to penetrate, if you think about it, if the TS5 <coughs> is coming up from a hill and like is driving up, his lower plate is maybe in such an angle and you can shoot with the trajectory like this, like bam bidi bam Totally easy. But as soon as he gets in a normal flat spot again, like when it is normal to the ground and you stand in front of him, the angle is much steeper and, well, this is going to happen. You bounce down what happened right here. So I do think, though, in those special and kind of 
good things for him where he can go face hug the enemy he has definitely chances to hide this huge lower play and um, this is crucial for this tank not against your six enemies not against your seven enemies but for same tiered enemies definitely but what is this guys yes ts5 has a type 5 weak spot it's super small <coughs> it's hard to hit but it's there and we can have a look at it also in this model tank viewer over here. Now we just have to go back to showing us all cam armor. And we have to say goodbye to anything which is spaced armor. And now we can see over here is zero armor there. Yeah, guys, you guessed it. You can penetrate there however you want. You won't penetrate it with HE though. Actually, I didn't test it, but my guess is the viewport will explode it or will the let the HE explode without it penetrating. <coughs> but behind there is just a five or a zero millimeter plate, basically. It's the same deal with the Type 5, which is around 180 millimeters of effective armor because the viewport is much thicker. But when you hit properly around here, you can just barely squeeze in that zero millimeter armor plate and you will penetrate with even this small gun and I'm pretty sure you could even penetrate it with a tier 1 tank which we sadly didn't test it, sorry for that. But overall there is nothing else to say, frontally this tank is pretty darn a beast and it will be really hard for you to, well, try to detract this tank with doing damage. It is possible for tier 6 tanks to <coughs> actually pull this off. Again, damn it, it's really annoying. But I should I should get a Ricola. Ricola! But again, it simply doesn't work. And also one thing which is important to notice, my dear friends and followers. Yes, the side armor of the engine deck is pretty tough as well. It's 100 millimeters thick. Where meanwhile, this part over here is slightly less armored, which we get to in a later stage of the video. Now we are loading some HE shells, which are 44 millimeters of penetration to see if we can penetrate the TS5 in the back with this gun. But I can assure you, now we have back at AP, it is <coughs> impossible. You can't penetrate this guy with HE with this tank in the back or in the front or in the side. It's not possible. Other tanks, however, which have more potent HE, um, this potency level is actually pretty low will have chances to penetrate this tank with HE. But now, TS5 succumbed to his injuries, we got him killed, on to the next tank. The next vehicle now is an, oh look at that perfect Russia! Snapshot on the move is the Jack Tiger 88, or Sonderkraftfahrzeug, Jagdtiger, however the hell. 8.8 cm, something like this. Right now, I told Felix to stay in a more or less well, hold down position where he can still shoot at my lower plate, but also exposes more of his lower plate. Again, right now we have a better chance of penetrating the lower plate because it's an, a worse angle to him, but a better angle to us. I chose the Jack Tiger 88 because it has 212 millimeters of standard penetration and is, well, around the average of what tier 8 mediums have. Yes, there are some which are more or less, like the T44-100, we like the 95 pattern, but yeah, most of them are around 212 millimeters of penetration. And you could see cupola starting to not be anymore such big of a deal. Lower plate, however, even though we have a better angle, still not entirely sure. Also, now comes just a ridiculous shot. I, I, I honestly don't know how I penetrated that. I was baffled myself because I basically had to roll over 50 than normal, 50 millimeters more, and we tried to recreate it, but we just got super lucky with the penetrating hit. Yeah, there is no cheeky weak spot right there. It just was that the Jack Tiger for some reason rolled ridiculously high. That's it. Yeah, when you look at this right now, you can see that there are chances actually of penetrating those spots over there or up there. And this is another spot which I want to gladly show you because it's really really cheeky it's another 20 millimeter spot it's the same what the type 5 heavy has against 152 millimeter guns and we'll have oops i wanted to go on reddit though i wanted to go in here once again and now we are going to say here's all scrolling down goodbye to the tracks and you can see this part over here where basically the upper chassis or the upper 
um, Iron chassis is put down onto the base, there is an overlap, and those are just 20 millimeters thick. And if you aim properly and lucky enough, you can even detract this tank frontally, which normally is really darn hard. Again, this is not a joke. This tank or those parts over here are actually spaced armor. It's not much, it's only 5mm, but better than nothing, guys, like honestly. There is also a small little cheeky spot, which is also a little bit harder to achieve to get, but if you aim somewhere, it's around here is this little cheeky 70mm spot. It's super hard to hit. But it actually works and you can penetrate it. Um, you can also try to go for those 70mm spots over here. And if you are lucky, you can even detract this tank as well. Which once again, usually is pretty darn hard. Again, I do not know how the tank plays in normal games. But I guess it will be pretty close-ish to the T28. Where still the T28 is, a lot, is better from the armor layout. Because again, the lower plate is so much bigger than it is on a T28. Anyway, I try once again to hit this shot over there and finish him off, or did I? I'm entirely sure though. I tried to go for some different shots, I think. Actually, I'm not sure anymore what I did there. But yeah, I showed you the spot. I guess it's good enough. Yeah, yeah, right. I told him to drive once again upwards to get a little bit worse angle against him, but uh, we got un unlucky and we simply finished him off with a shot into the middle of the lower plate. So we did it again. So now, once again, we some debris is falling or flying around. Now we are on the open field. Again, now we have this flat surface. We have worse angles at hitting his lower plate or hitting the lower plate at a worse angle. Nevertheless, it's not going to make too much of a difference, to be honest. I just have to get into position right here at our standardized 50 meters, roughly. And yeah. The thing you will notice though when we start to aim left and right a little bit is that on the left hand side or on the right hand side usually the numbers are slightly lower and this is once again due to how the armor layout is laid out. You can see this 153 millimeter spot right here is deeper in the middle while on the side we have 45 suddenly and sometimes even 37. So the sides are usually on this tank slightly weaker but again you have to be vigilant where you are going to aim because if you aim too low the angle will be too steep and you will have your immediate auto bounce and yeah you could just see it right here sometimes when we aim too much down low yes it just simply turns pure red and we have no chances of penetrating this tank here I did some shots into those frontal wheels because I wanted to see if I can penetrate it and got for some reason a critical hit. But it turns out that most likely I just bounced off and it went into the track right there. So that's why we got the critical hit. You could in theory detract the tank like this, but it's not really worth it. You can see we are doing a lot of shots right here. We are still loading normal rounds, AP rounds and... Once again, when we look at the sides, it's a little bit easier for us to penetrate than it is from other sides. Now I try to hit this 70 millimeter spot on the lower plate or underneath the plate right there. So once was a D-track. Oh, and there we go. We actually penetrated around exactly here in the frontal road wheel. The Felix also told me that this tank has pretty bad gun traverse angles. I'm pretty sure that when you have a look at somebody like skill for ltus video or your other favorite YouTuber, that they will tell you the same thing about it. But yes, this one right here is a pretty nifty weak spot to know. Once again, it is purely because when you penetrate the tracks and get rid of the spaced armor that we can hit this down here and this over here and once again if we make it good we can hit the frontal road wheel which gives us the most beloved track damage and the track finally or sooner or later next tank though is a little bit different the next tank is the slow tortoise with the 20 pounder gun if i'm not mistaken i'm actually not entirely sure if it is the 20 pounder gun now you ask yourself but why am i taking the 20 pounder gun quite easily 226 millimeters of penetration is roughly what you get from a tier 8 heavy tank so we also have those covered for you yes 
The cupola right now is not a big deal anymore. You have over 30 millimeters of average penetration more than what you would need for the cupola. So that's a big, 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 big plus. And you can see it is a pretty hard job to get those screen spot. Go too high, you're done for. Go too low, you have auto bounces. But there is a decent queen spot with 188 millimeters of penetration right here, which we in theory can easily penetrate. And yep. Here you also just saw it, we can shoot through here and do damage. But once again, we are not damaging the tracks. Those spaced armor are different than the ones you will see from the tracks. Now, well, I didn't want to shoot at the cupola per se, because then again, we would easily finish him off when he's only at 117 HP left. I tried to go for some different shots, like maybe here, maybe there a little bit. And yes, those curved surfaces are not really good, not only good for aerodynamics they're also great to bounce shots where meanwhile this spot right here if we get lucky in a high penetrating roll finishes the team speak five off for good so now we go to a real next contender which is on tier 10 and we have a look at well how this tank behaves against tier 10 vehicles okay slight error i don't want to go to tier 10 yet we have the hwk 30 or basically ebr would also work the ebr 105 or the like the Kampf Kampferpanzerwagen um, mid 90 millimeter would also work or the black dog and now we have a look at the armor layout on the side because we usually know from american tds that the side armors especially the engine block is bad and also something which i noticed in skill for ltu's video he said he's not sure if those meshes on the side actually well work as spaced armor and now we have a look at it and the first thing you will notice oh look at that we can't penetrate over there which is kind of obvious i'd say the back end is only orange and it's 100 millimeters thick it's something you definitely cannot underestimate now we already have just a 50% even less than a 50% chance to penetrate it properly because as soon as we do one little tiny angle it could lead to us not being able to penetrate but what is interesting is for some reason this part over here is green like everything from the American star to here is green and that is due to the fact that it's just 51 to 60 millimeters thick depending where we have a look at here the 60 millimeter part here the 51 millimeter part and you can see oh boys the 51 millimeter part is pretty darn big as well as apparently it is a little 51 millimeter part over there but that's pretty hard to hit never no not going to lie so yeah if you want to penetrate this guy with HE, don't go for the engine block, which could lead to a fire. Go for this side and apparently also do a lot of crew damage and even ammo rack damage. Now, what about the mesh? We still have HE loaded and let's have a shot into those mesh. Right now I'm still kind of figuring out, looking at the damage model, where are the meshes? Are they exactly there? But yes, they are. You could see right here that we are not able to penetrate. Our damage numbers are not going up, even though we do holes into the tank. Those back there are not counted because the HE is exploding on the meshes. And again, you can see we just did two damage beforehand, but right now we do nothing at all with our juicy little HE spam. Now we did 28 damage. Hooray, it's something. Now, oh, we did even more. Because most likely here the HE is splashing upwards into those 20 millimeter spots. But then again, my best guess is if you want to penetrate this guy with HE, go for that spot. And for some reason I even detract him, which is awesome. Like, oh boy. Don't go for the engine block from the side. From the rear, it's a totally different story. It has the same armor as this one over there. So this tank is really vulnerable to artillery fire when it is at the back of the tank, as well as to the wheeled wheelies or the EBR 75 FL10. With 75 millimeters of HE penetration, it can penetrate this part over here. It can penetrate all this part. And lastly, we'll also be able to penetrate the butt of the tank. But those sides over here, he won't. We made one more shot with, AP, um, with HE, but it didn't penetrate it, even though we have around a 50% chance. So now I loaded some heat, wanted to try something, but went back to APCR to once again try to hit at a really, really, really steep angle this zero damage or zero armor spot, which happened, which worked, 
great. Now we go to tier 10. Silly me. Now we are going to flex those non-existing muscles with the FV215B. I just wanted to take a random tank with a 120mm caliber, which is tier 10. I could have taken the E5. I could have taken the, uh, what's it called? The um, Super Conqueror, obviously. But I went with this tank or the T95E6. Nevertheless, now we have it. And now I want to show you that you can penetrate this tank's roof at incredible steep angles. Now you might ask yourself, but what is it or why is it? Why is it looking so buggy when we are penetrating it over here? Quite simple, it's a 38mm roof. To be precise, it's 38.1 and I think because of this one, the batcher is not allowed to penetrate. But I am not 100% sure what the caliber of the batcher really is. So I do think I have to look this up at the moment. Um, I want another nice little penetration in the meanwhile and oh no never mind the Batcher will penetrate it has a 123 millimeter caliber my bad over there so now we just have normal AP shells loaded and to be honest shooting at the lower play will be just overkill right now even though we are at a re really steep angle we should have no problems like we show here of penetrating it the gun mantle on the other hand could be thick so I stop don't want to shoot at it just yet I because we have something interesting about it up our little thingy to know one thing which is interesting though if we aim properly we can or we should be able to penetrate even this tanks roof over here right into the middle right through those little holes which is actually <coughs> excuse me which is actually not part of the damage model but yeah, it went straight through the roof over there and, well, makes this tank getting destroyed by our tier, tank, tier 10 vehicle. Right over here, 100mm or even down here, which could... No, it was over here, I think. 100mm spot, easy to penetrate. Bada bam, bada boom. Could have also been that maybe the gun was down, but I'm not entirely sure about that. Now, let's have a look at how this tank fares against, well... The casual unicorn, which is spamming gold shells. Now we'll be playing our chat unicorn tank, which because we are going to load the juicy gold ammunition with 326 of millimeter of penetration. Have a look if we can penetrate the, well, the gun mantle of the tank and other spots easily with those high and performing shells. But before we do that, we load some more AP shots to try and get beside the gun mantlet because at that given point in time, I was thinking the gun mantlet will be pretty strong, something like the T28 has, or yeah. You could see we were not able yet to penetrate it just once now with normal AP shots, and I think we do one more shot, which hit pretty decently, and we penetrated him. Now, what should we do else? Should we play the chat unicorn? Yes, we do. Right now, we are reloading some APCR shots. And, well, that was easy. Just a pretty neat little shot through the gun mantlet. Over there, not really, which is sad. Over there as well. Ah, okay, looks like the gun mantlet is actually pretty thick. Because it can hold off our gold ammunition, which is, again, 326 millimeters thick. There we, well, this was just a bad angle. You can see the shell didn't even try to penetrate. The same goes for this side over here. It actually tried to penetrate, but got stopped by the armor behind it. Here we hit the gun for some sad reasons. One last try into the gun mantlet and okay, we finished them off. Good to know. Now let's have a look at if we can penetrate this gun mantlet with normal shells. We're not taking the FV, we are going to take, we'll cheat a little bit, we take the K91, which has the best non-gold ammunition penetration of any tier 10 or any vehicle in the game, which isn't a TD. So let's have a look at that. So here we are on our ways with the K91. 276 millimeters of standard APCR penetration is a whammy. 330 heat is a little bit lackluster if you want to say so, but yeah, 276 is pretty darn decent. We go back on 50 meters, or 51 in that case, and well, looks like 276 millimeters of APCR penetration. Oh, wow. Well, it's not really looking good. 
those shots over there are pretty, I'd say, lucky that we penetrated them because those needed some more penetration than what we just have there. But now we are loading some heat shells to see where we could hit and where we could aim. And obviously I'm not going to aim for the lower plate because it's an easy pin there. Like, again, it's no use to actually aim there. What I want to show though is... This is the gun mantlet. Again, it's a nice little violet egg showing us 250, 260, 280 millimeters of armor, depending where you aim at. But when we are going to make it invisible, yes, that's zero armor. And this zero armor is basically there to allow the gun to move left, right, up and down. Meaning that if we, for example, aim right above the gun, around here, we just need 260 millimeters of penetration and we just punch right through and have nothing which will stop us. Fair pens. So, overall, in total, now we are shooting some heat just for the funsies, giving our TS5 here a little noot noot face. The problem is though, tier 8 heavies usually tend to also have pretty decent premium shells going all the way up to 270 like the IS-3A or 265 as far as I remember for the Defender tank. And those premium shells will be able to penetrate the gun mantlet of the TS-5 without any problems. Right now we just put one last shot through the little glory ring over there to finish the TS-5 off and well also finish our video for that matter I'd, I would say so myself. I do think the armor against lower tiers is pretty darn strong, especially the side armor is surprising because you can get caught off guard by how thick the side armor over here is. Might also be just a mistake, I don't actually know. Ah, never mind, like, look, we, if we look at the two plates over here, they do look thicker, they look at least twice as thick, yes. This would be in here a 51mm plate and this in here, from here to here, would be a 100mm plate. So yes, it does make sense, never mind there. We can also look inside of the tank and see the gun breach, lucky for us. No, well, you can get caught off guard, especially from the side. And do not forget, frontally, you basically have no chance of penetrating this vehicle. Except when you hit, as already discussed, down here or up here, the belly of the beast, which could also be a killer's heel, and those viewports because of the zero millimeter armor behind them when you hit them properly. Those are the ways you can penetrate them. And obviously those sites over here, those sites are pretty easy to penetrate. When you play a French wheelie or something with high penetrating HE, please consider or do remember to hit over here and not over here or here where the mesh is going to screw you over or the side armor, which is as already said, 100 millimeters thick. Let me know in the comment section below what I could do better for this video. I hope it was an extensive guide for you to know what you need to look after this tank. And when you play it yourself, please do consider playing this tank, obviously, in its intended way of being pulled down. It will work better, but against your 10 vehicles, especially some gold spammers, you can bounce some shells, uh, but more than... Anything else, they're going to punch through, especially through your gun mantle. But then again, it's important to notice that they need to hit close to the gun, otherwise it won't work, because then you have around 500 of effective armor guarding your tank. Like when you go here, you have 260, and when we disable it again, you have another 240 over there. So it's an effective of 500 plus millimeters of armor, which not even the Jack Brand 100 can punch through. Thank you so much for your attention, goodbye, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye.